So how do we add our citations? So let's, for example, let's say this paragraph has been paraphrased from a particular book. Let's choose our Papier book. I want to, so I've, I've clicked um, at the in, the in the text where I wanted my, I want the citation or the reference to appear. So we, it's going to appear here. I'm going to click on this one here, click cite, and it comes up uh, Papier and Papier 2020, and it's got a hashtag. Now that means I can now reference the page. Let's say I read that on page 127, and that means I can reference that. Now, depending on the uh, conventions that you've got, you can put P dot for pages, um, or if it's a range of pages you come from, you can do PP dot, and then you put the range in. So that might be 127 to 128 so that the person can actually find what you're, where, where you're coming from with that. And you can keep referencing that. So if we did that down here, for example, or in this part here, we might cite again, but this time it might be a different page. It might be 45. Okay. If we wanted to um, research, cite this one here, let's come back to the PDF document here, click cite. And it's just going to talk about the um, the, the, art, the the PDF and the year 2023. If we wanted to come back to the website, let's click on this one here, click on site. It comes up with no date, but you've got the whole link here. And finally, let's have a look at the um, the uh, other website over here. Click on this one, let's cite this one, Adams 2023. That's the Guardian article um, on education, so it doesn't be page numbers, but it's just got the information there.